Okay, uh, this is going to be a updated video on the uh, um, modifying a pressure switch door to fit on a uh, Streamlight TLR VIR2. Um, I made a previous video and I quoted the wrong part number for the door. Um, the, the actual part number for the door that you're going to need is 691178-1. And so that is the Streamlight remote door assembly for the TLR VIR, the original TLR VIR, which is what I have here. Um, so you're gonna take the door off of here. You're gonna knock the this pin, knock that out in order to remove the door from the TLR VIR uh, um, one. If you uh, if you have that, if not, you're just gonna get the door assembly and then um, this uh, latch here was originally off of the uh, TLR VIR2's uh, door assembly, the standard switch door assembly. Um, and what I had to do to modify that is, as you can see here, there's these two flare outs here. Originally this tab went into those two areas and I had to grind those uh, wings off, grind them flush to get them to fit in here. Um, once I ground those off, I just knocked this pin out, dropped that in place, ran that in, and then I bent it down slightly here um, in order to interface with the locking bar on the back. Then the other modification I had to do is there was a tab up on top here, um, the, and that's how it interfaced with the, the old TLR uh, one is it, or I guess this is the eye safe that I'm rocking right here, um, is that it would it would lock into this slot here. So you have to grind off that top tab. Uh, I just took it off with the a file. Um, go ahead and file that flat. And then instead of relying on that tab, you will be relying on this tab. Um, and this door assembly is the only one that I'm aware of, the only pressure switch one that has this top tab here. Um, so once you've ground that off, uh, the top tab's gonna fit up in there. You're just gonna give it a little bit of pressure, pops in place, that snaps down there, and it's good to go. Pressure switch, good to go.